Welcome to worship at Great Hill for Sunday, May 16th, 2021, Ascension Sunday. The food bank's May wish list includes one or two pound bags of sugar, cooking oil, applesauce, spam, hash, and chili. Please leave your donations in the fellowship hall near the church office. Thanks to Pastor June for delivering all our donations to the food bank. Thank you to Pat and Adriana, Judy Banks, Stephanie Bruno, and Maury Ward for the May Spooner House meal. The Kingsley family is providing the meal in June, but we still need a dessert. If you are able to help with this last detail, please contact Maury. Thank you for your continued support of this mission. Reservations for the May 23rd Breakfast Church service will be open on Thursday, May 20th at 5 p.m. through Friday, May 21st at 7 p.m. You can use the website to send in your reservation or call reservation team member Maury Ward. I invite Betty and Shelby to begin our service by bringing in the light of Christ. Let us bring the light of Christ into our places of worship.
can join me in our opening minutes of prayer. Lord, of amazing vision, prepare our hearts and our spirits this day to receive our bad tidings of heaven. For now, make us ready to be your disciples in all that we do, say, and say. Lord, we ask this in the name of our beloved Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our New Testament lesson today comes to us from Acts. Acts 1, verses 6 to 11. And it depicts the ascension of Jesus. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, he replied, it is not for you to know the time or the period that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This is Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go to heaven. Our gospel lesson today comes from Luke, Luke 24, verses 44 to 53. And he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you. And everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, This is a repentance and forgiveness of sins, as to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, bringing from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And then we continue to the ascension, the ascension of Jesus. Then he led them out as far as Bethany. And lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried off into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple blessing God. This is the word of God, the people of God. The of God.
I may welcome you all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. What a day and a what a joy to meet and worship God here in one place. Amen. Uh, Even though your faces are uh, covered with the maskers, but you look younger than before, <laughs> and you look more energetic. Thank God. It was a long journey, but finally we get to the all of the day, the end of the third long term. So uh, as we realize the value of the world, that the world is empty. We realize the importance of worship in our lives since the outbreak of Corona 19. So, God is good, oh, and, uh, and also let us continue to our faith journey in the power of the Holy Spirit. Wherever we were, God was always with us. Amen. 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 Um, in a church, I started some years ago. Uh, there was a, a group of four men uh, who met every morning at McDonald's. Before they came home, they would they would eat the small bowl of bread of bread of flakers their wives provided, and then they would break the rolls to meet together for coffee and the sources biscuits, assuming that their wives did not know. So every morning, five, five mornings a week, they meant to discuss sports, religion, and the politics one of their wives called them the Do Not Be Club. She said, they talk about every issue on earth, but they do not to change a single power of them. In our first lesson from Acts, we read two angels and two angels challenging the disciples not to be, not to be part of the do not be club. We know that in the Bible, the word, the word angel simply means, simply means a messenger from God. It can be someone with the wings and a heart, or it can be a person next to you, who simply say something to you that you need to hear. So, who these particular two messengers were, we don't know. And it does not matter. The thing is that we need to know that the end Said, said something to the disciples that they need the truth here. And they said, Man of the Galilee, why do you stand looking into Peter? But Session Sunday is a day when all churches around the world are reflecting on that moment when Christ rose into heaven and left his message. Uh, his ministry to the disciples and uh, to us in this day. So the temptation, the temptation on the section Sunday is to do what the disciples were probably doing at the time, asking, spending time into raising such a question. Where did he go? How did he get there? How long does it take? What well, did he look like a bit off? But the, the theme of ascension, ascension is not how Jesus got to heaven, but 
But what he said to the disciples and what he said to us from the Bible today, we read before he left, before he left from his disciples, before he left us from the Trumpet's world. So that was basically what the object told the disciples. Why the disciples stood around looking up and wondering where did he go? So the angels said to them, Man of the Holy, why do you stand looking into the earth? Why are you joining the two thousand club? You don't have to figure out how the schedule works. So we have to focus on to remember and do something about what the Lord Jesus Christ had told the, the disciples before he ascended. And he said, You shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and until the end of the world. You see that two figures here, right? People had to think about how it could, how it could be possible for the resurrection. How could it be he could lift it up to heaven? Don't spend your time and energy into those questions. What problems are What Jesus said to the disciples at the last moment of his life before lifting up to heaven. You are my disciples. Nothing else. So the angel said to the disciples, Do not waste your time standing around my feet, gazing into heaven. Instead, get busy doing something about what Christ commanded you to do. And then we all know what the witness is. In the course of law, it is someone who tells the truth, the whole truth, and the nothing but the truth. So as Christians, we do. We do more than just tell about God's truth. Instead, like school children, for us it is a show and tell. By our words and by our deeds, through what we say, through what we do, we reveal, we reveal Christ to the world. Let me put it another way. You and I, whether you are a doctor, you are a teacher, you are a pastor, it does not matter. You and I are called to be windows through which others catch a glimpse of Jesus, his love, his life, his passion, and his sacrifice for work. And many of us may say, Oh, Pastor June, I cannot do that. I'm not good enough. I'm not moral enough. I'm not faithful enough. Nobody will ever get to know Christ by getting to know me. Yes. But don't worry about that. Then we need to hear what Jesus promised to the disciples and to us in the past lesson of Luke. You are the witnesses of these things. And see, I am standing upon you while my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been called with the power from on high, which means the power that will be given, the Holy Spirit will give to each of us to be a faithful witness. So two things. Let us remember that when the when the Korean, American, Italian, we are his witnesses. And then, 
He plans the end. He challenges us to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Who did? All the rest of the traditions and rules of theologies, they are, they are kind of a secondary issues, a secondary concerns. Just, you know, faithful witness. And we need the Holy Spirit to be a faithful, loyal witness of Jesus. So in the end, we call them. You will receive the power which the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses. And in the look, you, you are my witnesses of these things. I skip something, the rest. Simply, you have been clothed with the power from all high. So we need a something different kind of power. That's the Holy Spirit. And we will celebrate the Holy Spirit next week. So the theme and the message of the section is that Jesus has completed his work on earth. He completed his ministry. He completed his mission. He completed God's plan for him. Now it is our time. You know that. In physical essence of Jesus Christ among us, Jesus promised to send his Holy Spirit upon each of us. In other words, he's continuing dwelling among us, empowering us, and challenging us to live as his disciples, to live as his witnesses, and to help people around us in the name of Jesus. So you look, I look tonight. Our Christian life is more than about our blessings, rewards, success, or achievements. But it is about a It is about a responsibility. It is about the mandate to live and to be its disciples. So I love this point and I want to share this uh, with you one more time. I have shared with you so many times, but I love this point. Christ has no hand, but our hand to do his work today. Christ has no feet, but our feet to lead the people in his way today. So we should never Doubts or forget our call. And when we live for God and Christ who called us into the church, people would consider us crazy, crazy people because we don't live for us. And in this world, no one will care about us unless we care about us. But we never. This is of the Almighty's. We have to hold it to be Therefore, a Christian life is sometimes so risky, risky, and a common courage. So, as we celebrate the Ascension Sunday today, let us keep these mandates, mandates from our Lord Jesus Christ. You shall be my witness. And receive the power of the Holy Spirit to serve you, to help you. So I'm going to conclude the, my time with the word from the letter of Galatians and the Bible to the Holy Spirit produces in you love, kindness, gentleness, patience, self-control, understanding, and obedience. <laughs> When we receive the power of the Holy Spirit, we can be with the integrity, extending our love and compassion to all other people, no matter who they are, culturally, racially, no matter what. We can share our faith without a 
So that's why Lord Jesus speaks to us through the two scripture lessons from Acts and Luke. Again, we are taught by our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Would you pray with me? Loving and living God, through our words and through our deeds, may we all be windows through which other people can see Jesus in us. Bless us with your Holy Spirit to have the power to live with an eternity, to expand our love for all without a distinction, the power to share the good news of Jesus Christ who called us. We thank you. God, our Spirit, we continue to pray, pray for the peace of the world, especially the world between Israel and Palestine. We ask you to open the eyes of the leaders to know that mutual respect and safety, open dialogue in peace, and all life from God. Is the basis of mutual respect and dialogue. Help them to see the reality. We also pray for the coronavirus to stop spreading, for the people who are infected with the COVID 19, for the smooth, of, smooth continue, continuation of the vaccination process. And a prayer for the people of India and Brazil struggling with the COVID 19 epidemic. And also for the people who work in health care, for all teachers, students, and all people working in school systems, including Dana Marcus and the staff and the students at Kitty Castle. We also pray for the little year old Brandon of the hospital, facing some of the happy issues and his family for killing and his friends. We pray for Sierra in the belly hands, Tom as well, belly of cancer as well, and the wound going through cancer treatment. Friend of Jack's great heart. We also pray for condolences to the family and friends of Sue Geisler, Oxford High School teacher, who recently passed away from a brain God be with them, especially the family, in pain and a fire. The fire has been this type of awards. And we continue to pray all those who need to go to care, direction, and strength, especially those in need of a fellowship, sociality, and the law of this time of pandemic, including our church and the members, should not be here today. We also remember those homeless, for the homeless, for suffering from emotionally. And our spiritual powers. We also believe our these church families, so and as and well. Russell and Lori, Russell, Megan, Brooke, and Carly and Barry, Bailey, Amy, Kyle, Brian Barkis, and the Judy. Loving and worshipful God, we ask that you will be with all the people we named and even people named in our hearts. We thank you and pray in the name of Christ who gathered us and taught us the Lord's prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. 